I was lucky I didn't die. On Labor Day in 2004, Mr. Clinton had four blood vessels bypassed. It's the biggest killer of men and women, heart disease in this country. And it's completely preventable. You get cholesterol in foods, things like meat, french fries, eggs, butter, desserts, ice cream. Bill Clinton needed to have one of his blood vessels reopened six years after his operation. After getting the stents to open up that blocked artery in 2010, former President Clinton says he decided to make changes in his diet. This time around, he decided to get much more strict, radical even, in his approach. No more meat, no more eggs, no more dairy, almost no oil. This bottom layer represents the blood cells and this top layer represents the plasma. The plasma is a clear yellow layer that contains mostly water and electrolytes. Here's what happens to your blood if you follow an unhealthy diet. The top layer is white and cloudy. It's just laden with heart-clogging fat and cholesterol. You have some easy to remember adages about how people can decide what they should or should not eat. We know what they shouldn't eat. That is <laughs> oil, dairy, meat, fish, and chicken. Here's a picture Esselstyn likes to show of a heart patient with a blocked coronary artery. And here's that same patient after going on a plant-based diet. You see the way the blockage has almost disappeared? They have a lot of high-powered company. All of these CEOs and former CEOs are either vegetarians or vegans. Would you call yourself healthy now? Well, I think I'm healthier than I was. You know, I'm, I lost 20-something pounds. All my blood tests are good. All my vital signs are good, and I feel good, and I actually have, believe it or not, more energy. Do you call yourself a vegan now, then? Well, I suppose I am if I don't eat dairy or meat or fish. <laughs>